we're live. <laughs> so tell me about this piece. It's ceramic. It's a pipe. It's a ceramic vitrified clay pipe for underground uh, uh, fluid sewer and water flow. And um, I carved the heck out of this one. So the undulation of this, I was really worried I, I would get too thin and that it wouldn't support itself, but it came out no problem. And what's it called? This one's called Undulating Birds. Uh, Shelly, tell me a little bit about what's going on here today. <laughs> well, today we're installing eight sculptures at the Culinary Institute of America, Copia, and at the Oxbow Public Market. The 21 sculptures are from the Mission Clay Art and Industry Program in Arizona. We've got an amazing crew, John Toki on our crew, Alex Nolan, Nick is our crane operator. Incredible crew, this couldn't happen. I mean, this is logistically, you know, it's pretty layered when you go and try to install 2,500 pound sculptures in a public space. So Shelly reached out to me uh, a few months ago and she asked if I would be interested in displaying some art pieces at the market. And I said, yeah, of course, let's let's meet and figure out where we can put them. What's the value to the market of having this uh, art display? It's just a public art display. We want to be, you know, open to the community and um, it's a, you know, a nice piece of, nice piece for the community to see. They'll add tremendously to the ambiance of the market, yeah. And the Rail Arts District is a, a a nonprofit organization that is developing a two mile stretch along the Napa Valley Vine Trail and the Wine Train tracks. We're developing this two mile linear stretch into an arts district. And this is our first major exhibition in the arts district. And well, it, it, was, it was so exciting to be at the installation because I, I'd never seen a show like that. It was a, a brilliant uh, conception and the idea of having people ride on a train through an outdoor art gallery is uh, is something I I I'd never uh, never heard of before. I think uh, they're going to want to stop and go back and, and look at the sculptures in in more detail. So it's not just passing by. I, I think people are going to be intrigued by it and drawn drawn back into it. I would think the people in Napa would be thrilled uh, to see this major art exhibition right in their midst, right in their own neighborhood.